here's the other thing. Let's get into this for a minute. Because I people on Twitter, they're like, hey, me and my boyfriend are big fans of you. I appreciate the hell out of that. Can you uh, can you send him a birthday message? No. Here's why. I don't send my family birthday messages. Okay? So here's the reality. I don't care. This is the 200th episode of the show. Is there balloons and everything? No. Enough. Move the fuck on. But the reality of the situation is I love all of my fans. I appreciate you. I miss seeing you at meet and greets after the after the podcast. But, like, it ain't Cameo. I'm not joining Cameo. I'm not shading anyone who has joined it. I, it's just not for me. I just can't, for the life of me, be like, hey, hey, Tom, I know you're a big fan. Happy birthday, but hey, happy birthday. What are you and Marissa doing for your big day? I will blow my brains out on Cameo. Enough, I can't personally do it. I know that people do it. I respect people that do it. People have talents I don't have. I do, I cannot pretend to care about your life. Okay? I, I will not do it. You will have to go somewhere else. There's a lot of people that do. They're much more popular than me. It's not happening. It's not coming. And I'm not mad at you that you asked. I'm not. I appreciate the listening, but I will not pretend to care about your life. Other people pretend to care about your life to the tune of two, three, four million dollars a year. I do not care. I have family members whose bodies ravaged with cancer. I barely put the phone to them. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's good, huh? Better? Good. I can't, you know, oh, is it going to get eaten now? Oh, yeah, it's eaten, huh? I'm kidding. I'm, no, I'm not. But the point <laughs> is, <laughs> what are you going to do? What am I going to say? Hey, hey, Kelly. I, I heard Kelly. I heard you're a fan. You like the show? No, no. Well, well, fucking Frank has something pretty cool so, uh, planned for you, Kelly. Turn around. Frank's standing there with a knife, you cheating bitch. He's going to get you. Stop crying. You know what you did. I would do a cameo for murderers where I would announce your murder. Yeah. That's right, dude. I'd announce your murder. I'd announce tragedies, breakups. Mm -hmm. But I, I just can't bring myself to treat you like children and pretend that I give a flying fuck. It's your birth. I don't care it, that it's my birthday in January. I, it doesn't matter. I didn't get him a present for his wedding. Here's the reality. I'm and and you know why that is because of coronavirus. It can't be delivered. Don't make a face. I wanted to do it, but I refused to put him and his fiance at risk to make me feel good. So enough with you know me. You've heard hours of me on the show. You can't imagine that there's a part of me that wants to wish you and your boyfriend a happy birthday. Here's the thing with the cameo, by the way. I think it's funny when like somebody did it with Blagojevich. Somebody oh, had yeah. Blagojevich yeah. do it for, to promote my Caroline show. Things like that are clearly funny. People do it with Chris Hansen. It's very funny. But like, who are the people unironically using Cameo? Who are the people that genuinely want the chick who played fucking, you know, I don't know, Delta Burke's friend on Designing Women. Like, who wants Kathy Najimy wishing them happy birthday? The fat chick from the... What am I blanking Kathy out? Kathy and Jimmy. Kathy and Jimmy, who's hilarious, but like she's the fucking, she's in Hocus Pocus, the fat witch from Hocus Pocus. Is she on Cameo? She might not be. She better be on Cameo. Yeah. Of course she is. Who's who's going, I genuinely want the fat witch from Hocus Pocus. Bitch, don't you have money? $150? <laughs> I mean, she's great. She's I love her in that movie. I love her in a million things. But I mean, enough already. I get it. I'll be on it fucking next week, probably. Is it just, is it rich people that just Hollywood has fallen so far that it's fun to watch your favorite celebrities who are scrounging around on their floor for cat food? Is it fun to watch them have to be degraded to wish you a happy, they don't care about you. They don't want to be near you. How nice was 90s fame when if somebody went near Sharon Stone, they got a gun in their mouth. If some if Sharon Stone was having lunch at the Ivy and you went near her, you were physically removed. Now this bitch has got to wish you happy Valentine's Day? Right. What a fucking hellscape. And I know that there's a lot of people on this that are good people. I just, you know, there's a lot of people on this that are suffering too. 
lot of people that are suffering. Abby Lee Miller, that bitch from Dance Moms. How much is a cameo from that fat fuck? My mouth hurts so much. Recently active, of course, this fucking loser has no money. Go over, make cookie one to the right. Oh, there she is. There's him. 99. I mean, this fat whale. This is the woman who did Dance Moms, which I thought was a great yeah. show because I like to see greatness demanded of children. I like to see children cry and realize their mistakes. Many of those, many of those kids kill themselves. Some of them don't. They grow up to be great people. Manscaped. I've asked for a free Manscaped for the last fucking six months and haven't gotten one. So thanks a lot, everybody. Do yourself a favor and get the right tools for the job because it's a goddamn knife fight down there below the belt. You know what it is. It's a goddamn knife fight. You got a big bush. The crop reviver, which will keep your ball smelling fresh just like the spring flowers. I think you should just leave your let your ball smell the way they smell. Pheromones are important. Just let, let, let you know, let it let it hang out. Let's not get too crazy. Your ball smelling like jasmine. Anyway, the point is this. Get 20% off free shipping when you use the code Tim at manscaped.com. If you're a man or a woman with a dick or want a dick or practicing having a dick or invested in a dick or have a dick on layaway, manscaped.com. <laughs> so if you're in the bath or the tub or you're right in the pool in front of the family and you want to do it in front of everybody, invite a bunch of people to your house and just shave your cock in your own pool. And if they don't like it, tell them it's safe because the manscaped is waterproof. You get, you get buy, buy it. If you need it, buy it and use the code Tim. Do you like the show or not? Do you want me to be in Malibu or not? You want me to live with you fucking animals? In a, in a, in a, in a, I don't even know where you people are. Some FEMA tent. You're getting this uh, oh, shortwave radio. You're sitting there and uh, practicing some faggy Civil War militia. I don't know what the hell you're doing. You want me to live like you people? You want me to be on Cameo like an animal? Wish your people happy birthday. Is that happy graduation, Sarah? Fuck that. Buy the trimmer. Shave your junk. Use the promo code Tim. I mean, how much more debate? I'm selling ball hair trimmers on a fucking podcast. How much worse do you want it to get for me? I'm a remarkably talented individual. My talent far exceeds most of what's on there. But am I on SNL? No, I'm selling dick pills and ball hair trimmers and cereal on a podcast. How, much, how long do you want this to happen? Can you get me? Can you can you notch me up a little bit here and get the trimmer, please? Other people get big deals. They sit around. Their agent calls. They go, hey, "Hulu's gonna stuff money in your ass so you can go lose it because you've never had a thought in your life." I'm selling ball hair trimmers. For the love of Christ, please get the trimmer. That is all I am asking. Give it to a friend. It's a nice, fun podcast gift. It's a fun gift for men to give each other. Nothing gay about it. But if you want to suck off your friend, this is also a fun way to let him know. This is what it needs to be. Please, please. People here with script deals, movie deals.